Police are still withholding the name of a 26-year-old man killed in a lightning storm during Rio Rancho's 4th of July celebration. They say they will not release his name until they notify his wife, who has not regained consciousness from the blast. The victim was huddled with his wife, their four children, and his sister-in-law at Loma Colorado Park to wait out a lightning storm when the bolt hit. Witnesses quickly called 911. Right up on the, the, tent, the band practice court, someone's got struck by lightning and they're trying to do CPR on him and it's raining right now. There was another 911 call from a relative. We chose not to run it because we feel it would be an invasion of the family's privacy. All seven were taken to nearby hospitals where the man died. The children and sister-in-law are all okay. There's no word on the wife's condition, but again, police say she is still recovering. New Mexico actually has the highest per capita death rate in the country from lightning, and this is the time of the year when the danger is highest. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live downtown with some reminders that could save your life. Alex? Dick, everyone knows not to touch metal in the middle of a lightning storm, but did you know that being surrounded by metal may actually save your life? The National Weather Service says lightning touches down in the state nearly every day during the summer, and the lightning bolt may not even be close to the actual storm. Lightning we've measured from observation and from research. They've seen up, up to 10 to 30 miles away from the storm you can... Uh, you can see a lightning strike, more common within 10 miles. Dr. Graydon Olick with Langmuir Labs at New Mexico Tech says finding shelter is the most important thing. The best option is an enclosed structure, but even while indoors, you should take precautions. When you're in there, you should avoid contact with the plumbing and the wiring and don't talk on a wired phone. Not all structures provide good shelter from a lightning storm. A structure has to be grounded properly, and, and an open structure, particularly a structure that only a roof and no walls, those structures can be quite dangerous, even when they are grounded properly. Dr. Olick says your car is the next best bet to staying safe. But it may not be why you think. You're safe because the car is made of metal. And whatever insulating properties the tires have are irrelevant when you're dealing with lightning. Roll up the windows and don't touch the steering wheel or doors. Dr. Olick says if your car is struck, it won't hold a charge. So once the storm passes, you can get out of the car. And last, if you don't get to a building or your car, get low. Squat down uh, on the balls of your feet. Keep your feet close together. Hold on to your knees and stay as low as you can. Dr. Olick says getting low is a last resort. For instance, if you've been hiking and are stranded or have no other options. Now, if you're in an open area or an outdoor event when a storm rolls in, Dr. Olick says leave and find the closest shelter. Back to you. In the last 50 years, Alex, lightning strikes have killed 85 people in New Mexico. So you may think, well, why are they going through all this again and warning people? That's why. Yeah. It happens yeah. here all the time. You know, we get great pictures from you guys. While they're always great, we always say, look, there's no reason to go outside to get them. So we'd rather have no pictures. Well, oh, yeah. Lightning take a chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chances yeah. like this, do it's that. rough stuff. No mm -hmm. question about it. And please be careful out there. And especially in those hiking situations, too. We get that a lot this time of year. Always best to hike early in the day because we tend to form the storms later on in the afternoon like this. The deadly one we saw in Rio Rancho. Here's a look at what's going on.